The sun has been rising a lot later these days and the cooler mornings have rolled in. These fall mornings are some of my favorite during the year and I try to make it a point to spend more time relaxing, enjoying my space before the first frost comes and takes it away. It's been six months since I went and picked up baby chicks from our local tractor supply this spring. I've wanted chickens for years but always figured I'd wait until we moved to another property with a bit more space. But we decided why not and I couldn't be happier that we jumped in. I've gardened for years and always thought keeping chickens would be the more difficult thing to maintain and learn, so I put it off. Honestly, I was wrong. I personally think if you're considering one or the other, go the route of chickens first. I wish I had chickens years ago. I enjoy throwing them scraps from the garden, and I also love knowing that what food I'm not enjoying, they can enjoy, and in return, I still get food in the form of eggs. The startup costs can be really similar and I think you can actually save more money from your own backyard hens versus a veggie garden in the beginning. These girls made the garden feel so much more alive and the space isn't the same without them. If we backtrack a little bit, my original plan wasn't to get chicks from Tractor Supply, but long story short, my chick order got canceled and instead of waiting six months to get into chicken keeping, we went and snagged some babies before it was too late. All these ladies pretty much look the same, minus one, so they are a nameless bunch. I always heard of stories of getting roosters from Tractor Supply, which worried me because we can't have them in our city limits, which brings me to a question I get all the time, which is, did I have to get a permit? And the answer is yes. It was only $25 and it's a very, very easy form, and I can have up to 12 chickens even though I have eight and all I have to do is renew yearly. But back to getting our chicks a few weeks early and a few weeks older than expected. This kind of was a headache for the first few months of chicken keeping. At the time of getting chicks, we didn't have a single thing started on the coop and the girls were already one to two weeks old instead of babies, which was probably where we went wrong. Chickens grow really fast and honestly, I knew that going into keeping them, but until you get your own, you don't realize how fast they grow until they start doubling in size in just a few days. If we were to buy a coop or go off plan, it may have been a different story, but my husband built this without any plans and has never done a project like this before. It took about two months to complete and he was able to only work on it two to three days a week. So honestly, it really didn't take that long to build. There's only so much you can do when you also have a day job. I personally know nothing about building and there wasn't much else I could do other than hold stuff together in stained wood. He did an amazing job on this coop and it was definitely worth the wait. We are huge mid-century fans. And I think he did an amazing job showing that in the coop. The stairs he built are so adorable and it fits the space so well and that was actually one of the things he had no idea how he was going to do and he whipped it out on a few hours on a Sunday. I will say if we were to redo anything on the coop it would be to use hardware cloth instead of chicken fencing since it is more predator proof. We also probably would have made it a smidge bigger just all around because now that we have eight chickens, we think it'd be nice to have 12 and we don't really have the room for 12 with the coop we built. I thought eight chickens was going to be overkill for just us two, but honestly, we go through a lot more eggs nowadays and if we had four more ladies, we could sell or give more eggs away. So I did go with sand at the bottom of their run, which I really enjoy. The girls really love to dust bathe in it and it's really easy to clean. It works a lot like cat litter. <laughs> so I do keep them in their run at all times currently since the garden is still producing, but over the late fall months into winter, I do plan to let them free range a bit, which I'm pretty excited about. 
Another question I get often is how much do the girls cost me? They average about 45 a month. I do feed them completely organic, which I don't really think is bad considering I do get six to eight eggs a day now that they are laying. And just in the last few months, we have averaged 18 dozen a month. So I really am getting my money's worth at the moment. We do have to play catch up with just how much we invested in the coop, but overall we are really racking in the eggs at the moment. So I definitely have a queen bee of the flock. She is the one I mentioned earlier that didn't look like the rest for the longest time. I was really worried she was a rooster. I believe she ended up being my only Isa Brown and I believe the rest are all golden comets. Honestly, tractor supply told me I had two and six and I believe I have one and seven. I'm just glad I didn't end up getting any roosters. I really only have to clean up after them about once a week unless something were to happen, which doesn't happen often. When I say something happens, they might occasionally peck an egg and I have to clean up yolk or something that's happened, I believe twice now. Their feeder holds about a month's worth of food and then their water can hold about four to five days worth, but I do top it daily. They are really hands off and honestly easier than any pet I've ever had. Today I'm going to make them a special treat. These chicken block treats at the store can be really expensive and while they're all cooped up I like to make fun things for them to do throughout the day just to keep them entertained. These chicken blocks will keep them entertained for hours so I really wanted to learn how to make this. So I'm currently waiting for my grubs to arrive or I would have added probably those into the mix as well but I did get this off of a blog and I will make sure I post that blog post in the description for anyone that's interested in this recipe. So for this recipe, I used a springform pan and some parchment paper, and I made sure to press everything down really, really well just to incorporate better into a block, make sure there was no air bubbles anywhere. The springform pan really made it easy to take out, but I did try to make one of these without parchment paper, and I will say it stuck and it crumbled. And if you do make this for yourself, I think any pan you use would work, but I do suggest probably using parchment paper underneath regardless. So one of my favorite things about keeping chickens is how excited they are to see me. They know I am the treat lady and they always try to fight to see who can greet me first or who can get the better treats. I like to think of them greeting me, but I know they are food driven. This was always something I didn't expect when I got into chickens. Chickens have a lot of really fun personalities. They are quirky and very fun to watch. They also have really good instincts and catch on to new things really fast. I love when they jump. I don't know why but I think it's really funny. I've taken chicken keeping very learn as I go, just like my garden. I try to research a bunch all the time before diving into anything new, just like the garden. And honestly, it's easier just as things present themselves. I've been really fortunate with a good batch of ladies. If you've been considering getting chickens, I highly suggest it and I will be the first one to root you on. Definitely take that leap and get the girls. <laughs> So it's the next day and I was just watering the curtain. These girls are really excited because they know they're about to get this cantaloupe. This was my last like big cantaloupe and I noticed that there was all these holes and those are definitely claw marks in my cantaloupe. This is the second cantaloupe this week. These were both toward the bottom. I really haven't had any problems with my cantaloupe being messed with until this week for some reason. So something is definitely onto it. But the girls are gonna get this, unfortunately. It was my probably second biggest cantaloupe, but they love cantaloupe, they really enjoy it, so let's go ahead and give it to them. All right, who wants it? Here we go, girls, come on. Come on. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 